the back's not getting any. No, the front one's just laid down a perimeter. <laughs> Spectacle grinding B. I'm really sorry. It's been like it's been like a month, hasn't it? Got to say a big thank you and a big uh, shout out to Transformers the Show for having me on another twice, another twice times. I'll put the links below. And there's another Back to the 80s podcast coming up with Glenn. This one's all about Transformers and Star Wars. It's just one of our normal gushes, but we all love them. Let's get on to what everybody came here for. I still don't know why everybody comes here. Yeah, I feel like the shaving thing five years ago maybe filtered out most of the pretenders. All right, so a couple of weeks ago, I saw Ed for the first time in ages, and he couldn't wait to show me his new going down the stairs laugh. <laughs> so we went to Smith's, our usual haunt, and we got some toys. And I know I said I wasn't going to... I didn't actually say that on camera. I didn't say I wasn't going to buy any Beast Wars figures, did I? Dinobot. Crinkly chocolate flavour bastard. He's actually pretty good, and he was the one I was kind of half thinking about but there was also Megatron who I was kind of half thinking about and still half thinking about, but I might buy him, I might not buy him. This doesn't make me want any more Beast Wars figures. Beast Wars? He comes in the wiki. I like having him with just his sword out. I put the stupid tail thing back on his back because no one should have to deal with a tail thing that looks like that. And now that I've mentioned it, I have to get it out, don't I? That should never be applied to real life. Wang it in there. Looks like Dooku's Solar Sailor from Episode 2, Attack of the Womps. It's like a really bad move in Street Fighter. Or good move. And that is the thing about Transformers. Once you know, you know what to do with them. Clearly the best part about Dinobot is making up fancy dress costumes. I like to call this one Simon Skedderstad had peas for breakfast. Some people don't like trifle. I really like trifle. I like to move them out so it looks like he doesn't understand why we celebrate Easter. What's the Easter all about? Hold up. Ready. Boop, boop, boop. Decided to pick me up a rotor store, not because I love the wreckers. <sighs> Wreckers. Not because I love the Wreckers, but because he's got a sponsorship with Pepto-Biz. Pink reminds me of 80s birthday party, radioactive blancmange, and the rest is just... BLUE! I'm not much on the repaints anymore, but we all knew this one was going to be good, because Spinister was beyond. Pink cockpits. I have fun refiguring it out every time. And sometimes fun is all that matters in life. Sometimes... It's barbecues every day. Tonka! Never wants, to, never wants to stick in, but no one gives a shit to- Oh! God! Stayed! There we go. Look at them colour! Apparently this is what the Yip Yips from Sesame Street used to fly down to Earth in. I think I got him from Kapow. Cheap on sale! With the singing peppers! We got sweet chestnut, there we go. but where's the- Where is the sweet chestnut tree? Let's talk a little bit about Hot Rod. He is so good, so good. I thought I wasn't gonna forgive this car faux hood chest, but it just works. There's just lots to like. I don't put any of the accessories on him because I still feel like I got my money's worth with the engineering that went into him. God, I'm talking sensibly about a figure. This doesn't happen very often. Let's throw it. Yeah, Magnus, not feeling it as much as I wanted to, but I really did like that Galaxy Force Prime, so maybe I just need a bit more time with him and we'll We'll get to know each other like like Christmas carols and candles. And we got there. The transformation is the fluidity of Raspberry Yop. I feel like people were way too quick to dismiss the masterpiece. This is one of my favorite figures of all time. It stays here. That's what, that's what this is doing. There's a fly in the other room and it's doing my head in. This was the best studio series figure, I feel. Raspberry Yop. Do you have any word this for you, hey? As this year updates on the weekend, Deadly Biscuits, uh, yeah. Scourge is just like Cyclonus. He's just so perfect and good, I can't really think of anything interesting to say about him at all. It would be like the impossible review to do, because I like to make fun of things, and I just can't. I just can't make fun of him. I'm not even going to transform him. I'm just going to put him back on the shelf, because I've got nothing interesting to say about how good he is. He's just really good. Fuck. Yes, they appear to be wimps. Will you oigly Washington woo oigly ah? Oh. Big thanks to the old naughty Zorty for built a rule smoke stream. Uh, smoke stream. Uh. This was kind of in celebration of our new single hit with Junkie Dave that we kind of co wrote. It is smoke screen on Junkie Dave's channel. Go check it out, the link is below. I absolutely love it. It was a pleasure to take part in and actually help Dave to write the verses. Yeah, bit of a privilege really. And 
the effort he put into that video was was like something else. If you're not subscribed to Junkie Dave, what what are you doing with your life? Get over there. It's the only place that Luffy shows up nowadays. I'm gonna have to go and go to Luffy's new house and and get some footage of him, whether he knows about it or not, because I think the internet needs more needs more Luffy. Comic comic. Yes. So uh yeah. On my way, Luff. <laughs>